rather than memorize all the symbols in the IPA chart, I'd like to show you how to read it. And to do that, first we need to know a little bit about the vocal tract. Most speech sounds are produced by pushing air up out of the lungs, or, which is called egressive, and through the vocal tract, which includes the glottis, which is that opening between the vocal cords, uh, the larynx, which houses the vocal cords, the pharynx, the oral cavity, called the mouth, as well as the nasal cavity. Different speech sounds are made by changing the shape of the vocal tract from the vocal cords to the lips. And the majority of these speech sounds in all languages are produced in the mouth or the oral cavity. Here's a larger image of the vocal tract. And we'll be talking about these different features inside the oral cavity that enable speech to be produced. Just a word on the vocal cords, they're actually flaps of tissue housed inside of the larynx, also called the voice box. Your Adam's apple is actually a shield of cartilage that protects your larynx. Two major divisions of the IPA are consonants and vowels, and that's because the way that these are produced are a bit different. Consonants are produced when the air pulses or the airstream, as it's called, become more restricted or modified by the vocal tract. Vowels, on the other hand, are produced with relatively little restriction or modification of the airstream inside the vocal tract.